All right, in this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate to you how to linearize data uh, where the x and y variables are not directly proportional. There's not a linear trend between these two. All right, so the data we have is collected from a car driving around a corner. Here's the velocity at which it's traveling, and here's the acceleration of it as it travels around the corner. I've already made a chart for that, and you can see that here. And you can see the data does not look like it's a linear trend. It looks like it is getting steeper as time goes on. So what you'll need to do with data that's not linear is compare it to this chart that you're going to put in the references section of your notebook. Um, this first column will show you the graph shape. This next column will tell you what the relationship is. In this case, as you increase x, y doesn't change. So there is no relationship between those two variables. Uh, you've probably already seen a linear relationship like this where y is directly proportional to x. We don't need to linearize it. It's already linearized for us and we'll get a mathematical model or an algebraic expression that looks like y equals mx plus b because it's already linear. But you might get some relationships that look more like these. And to determine an appropriate mathematical model in this course, we need to linearize that data. So the data you just looked at looked more like this. So y is probably proportional to the square of x. So in order to linearize that data, we need to modify it. So we're going to graph y versus x squared, or in our case, y was the acceleration, x was the uh, velocity. So acceleration versus velocity squared. And we'll end up with a mathematical model that looks like this. All right, so let's go back to our, our data, and we're going to graph acceleration versus velocity squared. All right, to do that, I'm going to copy this acceleration column right over here, since we want to graph acceleration versus I'm going to make a column here for velocity squared. I'm not going to put units in simply to save us some time. All right, so we're all set up now. I could simply look at the velocity here. It's 2. I could say 2 squared is 4. I could type that in the next one. Velocity is 4, so 4 squared is 16. I could go through and do that five times. That wouldn't take long. But while I'm doing a tutorial, I might as well teach you something else about Google Sheets. Google Sheets will do our calculations for us if we tell it what to do. So let's go ahead and do that. This cell, I want to be the square of whatever that cell is. And I want this cell to be the square of whatever that one is. So to do that, I'm going to go to the cell I want. Choose it. I'm going to hit equals. And now Google Sheets know it's going to do a calculation for me here. I want this cell to be that cell. So I'm going to select it. Squared. And it does that for me. I could go through and type that in here, or if you simply select the cell you've already got the equation in. I can grab that bottom right hand box there. See my mouse changes to crosshairs. Click, hold the mouse button down, drag it down, or we say fill it down, release it, and there you go. It does all of those calculations for us. 10 squared is 100. So we're all set up. We've got our velocity squared and our acceleration. These are the two things we wanted to graph now. So let's insert our chart like we've done before. We want to choose a scatter plot. Remember, we're trying to linearize our data. We're trying to make it look like a line so we can determine a mathematical model. Here's our preview, and that definitely looks a lot more linear than it had before. So we're looking good. Let's go ahead and go to the Customization tab, which is where Advanced Edit brings us to. We'll scroll down to put a trend line in there. And since it looks linear, let's go ahead and put a line to it. There we go. That does look like a pretty good fit there. I found some out just the other day, so I want to show you too. Label. Instead of having it be this trend line for data series one, we can actually use the equation right there. So that is the mathematical model we get from hovering over it. It puts it on that for us. So let's go ahead and insert that. There is the graph of v squared versus acceleration which is what we're trying to do to linearize the data. So now here is um, a form for our mathematical model. We would need to go ahead and substitute in what Y and X stand for, and we'd have our mathematical model. I'll let you go ahead and do that. Try it out, show your teacher when you're done. Good luck linearizing your data.